I think that they're right in towards the uh, It's a cab line in here, Jose. It's like about three yards up. Transfers or questions? Yeah, we're 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. requested that uh, he would like uh, me to go out of order here um, for um, we're going to start in with ordinance number 141 2015 Nick that'll be yours and that is an ordinance making a fund transfer from general fund funds to the law department to meet the obligation for the balance of 2015 we are coming up on second reading and uh, is Janelle going to be talking about this or you well Janelle if you have any, if you have Janelle, any questions you want to come on up? and I can't answer them Janelle will that's why I have I'm trying to get myself up to speed with a lot of things, and there's just a lot of stuff. Gotcha. I read next. Okay. Come on in, Jim. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Sylvia, do you have any questions? No, I've, I've reviewed, I went through and reviewed the expenditures for the law department, and uh, I really don't have any questions. I think we should just keep it a second reading. There's a number of, I have a spreadsheet which uh, managed to lose in a very short amount of time on this, uh, which basically shows the expenditures for the law department. There are some major issues with some of the law cases that we're involved in. We've been in. We've uh, been averaging around uh, $1,000 on the Flaf Arnhurst case. We suddenly escalated to $4,300 uh, in the last billing. I don't think that's <coughs> explained. There's, uh, there's two cases where uh, the V. Engel case where the uh, city is suing the three of the members of the council, that's up uh, greater than $7,000, and then there's a case that involves uh, former Mayor Kukta, which is in appeals court, and that's sitting there at plus 7,400. So I think we can, uh, there's some other issues in here, but I think I've got a fairly good idea of what's going on. I don't think that we have a complete picture on the law department, there have been um, recent developments in the Flaw case, the Farnhurst case, where they have been. Could we hold any discussion about lawsuits to an executive session? That's decorum. It should not be discussed <laughs> in general sessions. It's been discussed for two years it now. It should Jan, never so have well been. Been. Now all of a sudden. What you, you do is you jeopardize yeah. any case, either defendant the defendant or the plaintiff. I, I know. I know that's so. Uh, you know, being that I'm a defendant on a personal level through yeah. my homeowners association and now yeah, uh, in, in a position yes. here, I don't think that that is appropriate, <coughs> nor do I think it's appropriate for council members to take sides on this particular issue because this is a, a matter of, um, of an individual who's suing the state of Macedonia, and we all have a fiduciary obligation to this city. I'm not, dis no, no, I'm not disagreeing with that, yeah. but we are, here's the issue. Uh, our law department, uh, two members were made a defendants in this case in March of 2014 and the judge has determined that uh, they are they are basically uh, eliminated disqualified from the case because of the fact that they are defendants they have been defendants for over a year a year and a half now and it's cost us a, an, an egregious amount of money so I think that the only point I was going to make nothing about the case itself you just to make something about the case. You just 
So no, well, that's public records. Things. It is public record. It's We've right been on the website. talking about it for two years now. Yeah, well, it's Which public. Which doesn't make it right. No, I, I it is public. I understand it, but you didn't stop us then. It's I've public. I've said it every time we've tried to no, talk about it. It's yeah. executive yeah. session. Well, I'm, it's what I'm just, I said that. What is your question on why we wouldn't pass this? Are you saying that you question? But let's take it at a higher level instead of individuals. Is the question that you believe there's money in here that should not be paid? Is there money yes. in here that should be paid that we could approve and at least get a little more up to date? I think that once we can see the billing for December, which we haven't seen yet, we've seen the billing for, uh, excuse me, the, we've seen the, the November billing, which is really for October, uh, we can have a better picture. But my point is this. Uh, the the law department has been involved in this case subsequent to the time in which they were made defendants. The judges disqualified them. No, take it to the high level. Well, You're I, saying that you don't believe we should pay anything. Yes. Let, let's well, just move Would you allow along. me to finish my sentence? No, then because maybe. you're talking about the why details, we just, and we got enough to talk about. Why don't we just put it for second reading and have an executive session? Okay. Uh, will, be, will we be in arrears of payment right. to the law department? We are not. <clears throat> and it, no, I, you can't answer that. The administration answers well, that. I can, yeah. I can tell you what's in the We're latest financial report. We, we are in the rears currently. I know, like, our 2014 was paid in 2015. My, my point, if I... She's answering the question if we're in arrears or not. Could you at least honor and respect that? Janelle says we're in the rear. Well, so. okay, I understand that. I'm just reading from what I just told you that... May I make a comment? That's yes. Sorry, on the arrears. You know, I, I think we, you know, I talked earlier this week, right? Or did you I talk to someone? Desiree. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. With, with Desiree, when I talked, we're looking at two line items here, and one is mm -hmm. 5340 and one is 5345, and one of the 5340 is for $3,000. Right. And that was that we are in arrears of, and, and that was part of the negotiations that we had during last mm -hmm. year's right. uh, budget. I and I, uh, uh, when I uh, to said to Mr. Deemer, this is this will work. I obviously have to get council's approval. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, when I went to council, I, I, I forgot the three thousand dollars. But then I went back and I told council. I screwed up, and we should include the $3,000. Hmm. Everybody agreed to that, and I, and I told Mr. Deemer afterwards as we were walking out, get it on the agenda for next week, and, and we'll get you the $3,000. It never got on the agenda. So that so as the issue is what is owed and what is not owed, mm -hmm. the, definitely the 5340 is owed. That's okay. the only point I want to make. Well, that is 50, fine. 45, what was that day that you? Yep. 50, line 5345. Right, I know. It's three thousand dollars. No, it's that's no. There's no doubt that that is in arrears. Right, right. And, right. It was, and it was in arrears because we made a mistake last year. I told Mr. Deemer, "Well, just prepare the legislation," and, and he didn't do that for whatever reason. I think he forgot, uh, and it didn't get on. <coughs> in answering Mr. Miglarini's question. That was my, that's the only point I'm making. If I could just make a point and then we can move on. Uh, I don't disagree with what Davis said. He explained that to me and I agree that if we, we had asked him to, we've made the adjustment, made the agreement on 5340 that he should get an additional 3,000 at the beginning of this year, we should give him the additional 50, the additional 3,000 for 5340. On the general, uh, litigation line, which is 5345. I am the point I was making is that there is an argument that we should be collecting what has been spent already since March of 2014. That is going to get resolved, I think, fairly quickly in court. I well, why anything. Don't we, and we, why don't we just amend this think. thing and okay. pay what's in arrears? Take the 53. I'm trying to move this along, so if it's 10 minutes into. And we're still listening to your opinion. Take the 5345, amend it off of this ordinance. Just do the 5340 to get us out of arrears, and then we can have discussion around the open. That agreeable? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. I, but okay. I, I have not been allowed to say what I wanted to say. So if, if we want to move on, let's move on. Okay. Because we'll still be. We have a lot of legislation. Well, I understand we do. All right. Um, 
Janelle, you don't, you, could you please get, let the council know by email exactly how much money is owed right now in arrears um, this week? Would that help? Um, yeah, I can do that. Okay, thank you. Um, ordinance number 144 to, oh, so, wait, so I'm sorry. So 50, 41, we're, we're, we're going to third reading. We're going. And, and we're, right. we're, we're deleting we're the line 5340. 5340. Yeah. Okay, yeah. just want to know. That's ordinance 141, 2015, and that's Mr. Monars. Okay. okay. Who, who's making the amendment, Jan? Are you making that? Um, it's your, it's yours, Nick. So just make the amendment. Make so the 53, amendment to three to make it the. Yeah, fifty three forty five. We're taking out for right now. Yeah. Fifty three forty five is to be removed. Which right. Be removed and then add the three grand. No, right. the three grand's already in there under fifty three forty. So we right. delete that one line. Okay. We can do two three. Okay, now we're going to move on to ordinance number, we're skipping ordinance number 154, 2015. Dave, um, would you please take that? And that's an ordinance to transfer from unencumbered special assessment fund for the semi-annual payment for North Freeway Drive bond improvement. Which, where are you at? I'm sorry. Well, okay. Oh, you know what? That's right. Because I numbered them because we didn't have a number. So All right. All right. So this is, and this is going to be, and this is going to be what number then? 154. This, yes, 154. All it's right. an ordinance yeah, transfer from unencumbered All right, specialists. so we're going that section. Second yes. page, second one from the bottom. All right. And uh, Janelle, um, I mean, uh, I think this is a third uh, reading. I don't think would you like to speak on this, or do you want Janelle to speak on it? Well, it's, it, this is, again, just the note fund, so you know, you're going to pay it down. It's, mm -hmm. uh, right. it's a special assessment fund, and... Uh, this is the scheduled payment. Okay. So, okay. so it's a third reading. It's a third reading. Is everybody comfortable with third reading? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I'm just making sure. Um, then the next one, the last, um, right after that, uh, is 155, Ordinance 155, 2015. Sylvia, would you please take that? And that's an ordinance amending the 2015 appropriations in order to fulfill the 2015 debt service requirements. Okay. Mr. Miglarini, would you like to speak on this, or would you like Again, to Yeah, this is just to uh, keep us so that we have funds to operate, and um, uh, this is to meet our debt service as we continue through <coughs> the year. Into okay. the part There's of no, not any questions. Okay, no. is everybody comfortable with three readings? Yes. Yep. Okay, moving on, we're going to go to the next page, uh, ordinance number 156, 2015. Jan, could you please take that? And that's an ordinance authorizing a transfer from service department account um, uh, 5410 to 5500 to pay for additional road repairs caused <coughs> by water main breaks. Do you want Jan, uh, I mean, uh, Janelle to talk about that or the service department? Or? Yeah, we just had a water break. We have mm -hmm. to make the repairs. This is an emergency situation. Having these line items really makes it very difficult to do business in the city, but hopefully we'll resolve this in the future. But, um, when you have an emergency situation like this, you got to go out immediately, obviously, and take care of these types of problems. And, and now we're having to deal with uh, a line item. Third reading. Okay. Third reading. Third reading. Yep. Jan. Yep. Uh, ordinance number. How does? How did I mess this up? Do you know what we'll this is. Hmm? Do you know all the financial ones? Yeah. One. Uh, ordinance number one fifty-seven, two thousand fifteen. Nick. Would you please take that? That's an ordinance appropriating the transfer from general funds to service department for the balance of funds needed for the renewal of the International Society of Arboriculture membership. I guess that could be like what's three readings Say that in that? Three times fast. Okay. I think that was 300 bucks or something. It's 170 something. The whole mm -hmm. thing was that, but they didn't have enough money. So 175 bucks to make a whole order. Yeah. They didn't have any money in their education. They didn't have enough money in that line item. Okay. Okay, ordinance number 158, 2015. Uh, Dave, could you please take that? Sure. That is an ordinance appropriating a transfer from general funds to service department for the balance of funds needed for the December payment to ANS Animal Control Services. I think we should go three readings on that one. That's a little yep. uh, as well. Okay, um, ordinance 159. 2015. <coughs> Sylvia, could you please take that? That's an ordinance appropriating a transfer from general funds to the police department account 5600 to provide uh, funds for November prisoner meals expenses. I say we go three readings on what? that as we well. We feed them? Yes. Yeah, right, right. right. Actually, well, pretty good in there, Dave. Yeah, my only I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's good, right. Maybe let me I'll ask, stop by for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> let me throw let that me. in since we're on meals. Let me, let me ask a question uh, about these uh, November prisoner meals. 
Have we had a forecast of what we're paying monthly, and why is this odd? I'd imagine that fluctuates dramatically. <coughs> I mean, are we having, you know, like two prisoners in <laughs> town? It was he, Thanksgiving. He yeah, it was Thanksgiving. It was another 3K. I just wondered why it's such a variant. I know. Well, we could go well, back. Well, I think it has a lot to do with the amount of prisoners that we have at any given time, and I think if, during this holiday so, season, we're, yes. we're arresting obviously. people a lot more. Why, why, why do we have a lot more of prisoner meals? The 3,000? With the amount of prisoners we have. Okay, and you're saying we had a... There was no room Well, there was a... When you forecast <laughs> prisoner meals at the beginning of the year, do you yeah, keep them the allow for variations <laughs> like that? Or what do you say? Kind of based it off what, what it was the year before. Okay, and it's... And Sylvia. So do we need to have any more for December meals? Oh, my God. We paid December's meals in January. Yeah, and Sylvia also, Stoport, sometimes the prisoners do do their time. In Macedonia. Well, I know that. So, I'm not arguing that. There's, there's just a ton of variables that um, there's just too many variables. Oh, and you, you yeah. have, well, that's my only question was why was there that many variables? Okay. okay. Ordinance number 160, 2015. Jan, could you please take that? That's an ordinance appropriating the transfer from general funds to the police department account listed below for the necessary repairs to the police cruiser. Okay, uh, three readings on that. Is yep. everybody okay? Yep. Yep. And I think that's all on uh, us skipping around. <coughs> Can I make a procedural suggestion? Sure. So we don't get confused, since we've all agreed on everything so far, why don't we let the young lady go? Why don't we take them in order so we don't strain ourselves? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, she's fine now. Yeah, she can go. Yeah, I know. She, I mean, her, uh, Doesn't need to her, hang around. her professor is waiting for her. Yeah. Okay. You can always stay if you want. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> she, she looks smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? Do we miss one? Do we miss one? Okay. Oh, yeah, 153. All right. And, uh, sorry. Ordinance number 153, uh, 2015, Sylvia, that'll be yours. That's an, that's an ordinance appropriating funds and various transfer of funds for upcoming expenses as itemized below. Oh, yes. Yeah, Janelle, that. you want to talk about that? Just um, trying yes, to get everything figured out for the end of the year. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I read through it. It's fine. Okay, so we're okay. Everybody's okay reading. with re yeah. reading. Okay. Thanks, Janelle. Thank you. You were brilliant, holidays. Janelle. Yes, okay. yeah, really? Okay. All right. Um, let's go on back. We're on ordinance number 125, 2015. Uh, Mr. Monar, that is yours. And uh, we're going into, are we still at stake keeping it at second? Are we going to third reading? Or? I think we need to go to third reading. Yeah, right. we don't have a choice, right? We have no choice. We have to comply or otherwise we're being violation of the new tax codes. Okay. Yes, I, I went through the uh, the attachment. Uh, it didn't appear that we were doing very much to the original material. Is there anything outstanding that needed to be looked at? I think it's just a lot of boilerplate language that we have to, and I'm sure that you all received a copy of, a, of like a summary, or if you didn't, uh, Yes, we did. I was <coughs> wondering if we, this, the actual, Attachment was 54 pages, so yeah, I was interested to see if there was any specific thing. That I met with out. Rita this past week, and there was, or last week rather, and really there was nothing outstanding other than just to comply with the new state laws and, and the general verbiage that they, they put into their, their text. And there were, I can't specifically tell you anything that was glaring at me that when I read it or heard it that it changed much. So. It's just okay. a matter of complying with the state legislature's changes, okay. that was, and, and that's it. I, that was my impression. I just wanted to know if you had any other observations. Well, you were going to write questions to read it. Did you do that? When I went when I went through when I went through the uh, material during the finance meeting, I discussed it. Actually, Josephine had some observations, and okay. mm -hmm. we decided that that wouldn't have been necessary. Right. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, everybody, um, we're going to move on if everybody's okay. Uh, we are at resolution number 131, 2015. Sylvia, that is yours. And uh, that's a resolution approving the mayor's removal of Scott Squab as director of finance. Okay. And uh, I say we go to uh, second and third reading on that if everybody's okay. Yep. yep. There's been some discussion, and I have proposed some amendments. So I'll talk to you about them now, if you don't mind. 
okay. uh, trying to make this neat, sweet, and get it over with. Uh, I would propose that we amend it to the first paragraph, wherefore Mayor Kutka appointed Scott Schwab and uh, Director of Finance and, where, and Mayor Miglarini has requested his termination, then get rid of all the rest of the wherefore clauses and change section one to council supports the termination of Scott Schwab from the position of Director of Finance by Mayor Miglarini to forthwith and get rid of all the verbiage. That would be my amendment. Did you have an immediate okay with that? I didn't. I just said, yeah. It's going to save the city about $16,000 as we do it immediately. Okay. So would we need to add an effective date? Well, uh, fourth so with today? Fourth immediately. Fourth immediately. Fourth yeah. So as soon as okay. it's okay. executed. Okay. Uh -huh. So Sylvia is reading this. You just want to hand her your amendment? Or do you want to amend it? From I can before? amend it. That'll be good. I want to you know, right. kind of yeah. be part of it. I want to ask one question and point out also that I had asked about if this was drug on until January 1st. I think he gets a, a certain amount of money, and I, I think you have a number for that? Uh, yes. Um, oh. I didn't even see her. But we're not, we're, not, we're, <laughs> we're not, not doing that. Well, yeah, so. I, want, I want to make sure that everyone's aware, because until we get on the floor and vote about it, you should hear what this number is, because this is important and relevant to what we're doing. Um, so the difference in... Um, Scott were to be terminated effective today with today's council meeting, or if it was taken to January 14th, which is the first council meeting of the new year, the difference would be $14,446. So that's the total. Okay. Thanks, uh, Claudia. You're welcome. So put simply, if it doesn't happen today, he gets an additional $14,000. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. We know. Okay. It's, uh, okay. So resolution, yes, I can do math. Wow. Number Ordinance seven. number 141-2015, uh, Nick, um, that is yours. <coughs> and it is an ordinance making well, We have a already discussed that one. Okay, that's right. Okay, well, Dave said we had to stay in order. Okay, ordinance number 141-2015. Dave said to stop. Uh, so, <laughs> so, that is yours. That's an ordinance providing for the 2016 temporary appropriations. And that is, um, I, I think that we should go um, second and third reading. Yes. If everybody's works. okay. Works for me. Okay. Yeah. Ordinance number 148, 2015, Jan, um, would you please take that? That is an ordinance authorizing the mayor to execute an agreement with the Summit County Public Defenders Commission for the representation of indigent persons charged with violations of the codified ordinances, City of Macedonia. Can we go three readings? Yep. Okay. That's possible. Okay. Ordinance number 149, 2015, Dave, if you could take that. That is an ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a one-year contract with Julian and, uh, is it Grub? Group. Group, Inc. for certain financial services, and this is pertaining to audit services, if everybody would like to know. Yeah, Normally what's, we, I'd like to know what this is about, really. Okay, and uh, who's on? Joe, you want to take this one? Yeah. yeah. I'm not totally familiar with the company, but the, the audits, I, they wanted a three-year contract, and they have been in place for apparently a number of years with the city. Uh, they apparently um, kind of monitor our, our our books and stuff and give us the yeah. laws and stuff. They uh, provide the gap conversion for the, the, in preparation of the audit. Okay. Yeah, that's a good So <coughs> they wanted a three-year contract, not knowing much about them and or meeting them. I just said, let's extend it for one year. So it's basically the same terms as last year, right? Okay. It's, a, it's, it's slightly up. It's up because it's we're not doing three years. It's all right. Yeah. But okay. uh, I <coughs> certainly understand. And they start right in January. They mm -hmm. end in March. Exactly. And then that's about the time that the auditors are in. Yeah, they do okay. the gap <coughs> every year. Well, what, right, is everybody that's, changed? Does this mean every year we could have a new auditor so the history isn't known? Well, this isn't the audit, but we're, it's just, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to be doing a 2016, another audit this year. Mm -hmm. right. So, But we'll, we haven't even began to hire that company yet, whoever's going to do that. Because whoever the state auditor will certify to us, then we'll hire for okay. this coming year. I don't know if anyone remembers uh, that. Mr. Mayor, can I bring something to your attention? Sure. sure. Um, we had um, appropriated money this, uh, last, this year um, for a performance audit. Um, the money's there, and uh, but they were waiting for us to have a finance director. So 
keep that in mind when you get a finance director that uh, we do have money for a performance audit and it'll look at every every department. Okay, sir? All right, I wanted to make sure you knew that. I don't know if you were aware of it or I not. Was, I was aware of it. Okay, I just want to remind you. All right. If everybody's comfortable, can we please do three readings? Yep. Okay. Ordinance number 150, 2015. Who's, who's doing oh, that? I'm sorry, Davis. I am. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you heard me. I'm sorry. I didn't hear um, that. Ordinance number 150, 2015, Sylvia, um, that will be yours. Okay. Um, that's an ordinance authorizing and directing um, the mayor to enter into an agreement with the con Continued Care Administrators, Inc., in order to assist and provide empl employers with federal COBRA <coughs> compliance for the year of 2016. And again, this is, um, I think this is readings. important for three readings. And also, they also work when um, he gets a uh, finance director. Um, they work directly with uh, Claudia there. <coughs> Nobody knows who Claudia is. Claudia Dillinger, raise your hand. She is your human resource um, uh, director. And uh, so um, usually the uh, finance director and uh, Claudia will work together with the uh, mayor and uh, the company he gets, right? Okay. Correct. So uh, three readings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ordinance number 151, 2015. Jan, would you please take that? And that's an ordinance authorizing and ratifying an agreement with the Tri-County <coughs> Employees Assistance Program. And again, the same thing. Uh, three readings. Um, they will work directly with uh, Claudia, the finance director, and the mayor. This is standard. Okay. Three readings? <coughs> yep. All right. Am I going too fast? No. 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 Okay. We've all drank a lot of coffee. So we're ordinance going. number 152, 2015. Nick, would you please take that? That's an ordinance amending section 160.20A and F of the codified ordinances of the city of Macedonia so as to ratify the current practice of funding employees' health savings account. Uh, well, well, that's all. Claudia? Right. Um, some background on this. Claudia, why don't you come up here? You could come oh, up here if you yeah, like. You don't bite. This is my last one, too. So okay. <laughs> um, our charter already has language in it that discusses that employees have health saving accounts established. Does not explain, however, how they are funded, which are by the city, um, so that employees can meet their deductible each year. So this is putting that language in there, so we're in compliance, and this was brought up by the state auditor. So in the management that letter. Mm -hmm. right. needs to be done. So. Okay. Right. Thanks, Claudia. Three readings. So three yes, readings. three readings. If, if uh, nobody has any complaints. No, okay, who's again, we're going to. We're, who's oh, doing that? That one was now. Nick. Uh, ordinance 153, we spoke of. Uh, no. Sylvia, you have that one. Ordinance 154, we spoke of. Dave, you have that one. Yep, ordinance yep. 155 is Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Ordinance number 156 is Jan. Ordinance number 157 is Nick. Ordinance number 158 is Dave. Ordinance 159 is Sylvia. Ordinance number 160 is Jan. And then now we're on to resolution number 161, 2015. Nick, would you please take that? Sure. That's a resolution confirming the appointment of Anthony Cox to the Planning Commission. Um, I do have a little, I, I had said early on that when there was a new mayor that, you know, that we wait until he'd see who his appointments are. I think we should go to three readings and that's just my opinion. Looks for me. Well, especially with the uh, charter review change. Yeah, I don't know. We're obligated to have uh, in place. For, right now, we're going to be running with two members on the planning commission because Dave cannot return, the mayor cannot return. So there's only two members on the board that are on there right now. So if we don't appoint these individuals, we will have no quorum for the next meeting. But we already said we're going to appoint. Does, yeah, does, no, any, I does anybody I just, have just any questions out. for Mr. Megalarini nope. on his appointments? I, uh, I but the, but the, is there an appointment for the next meeting or for the first meeting in January? For the first meeting in January. Okay, because I, I this is because I already got the packet for December. Yeah. That's why I was confused. All right, thanks. You're obligated to December. Crap. Okay, that'll be fine. Nice try, Okay, so I did review. Questions? I did review uh, Mr. Cox's, and he appears to be okay. qualified. Three readings. Uh, yeah. yeah, fine. Yeah. You know, I don't see that as an issue. Who is doing that now? That is Nick. Nicholas. Okay. All right. And the next one is Mr. Resolution Shibu. number 162, 2015. Dave, could you please take that? That's a resolution yes. confirming the appointment of, I cannot say his last name, Shavoni. but Shavoni mm -hmm. to the Planning Commission. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and I say we do three readings. And again, the same, I feel that uh, Mr. Meglarini had a choice of picking his uh, people. 
and uh, I see we do three readings. That's for me. I had one question about Mr. Chivon. Was yeah, he mentioned that he was on the uh, stormwater committee, or uh, and one of the things that I understood that there was a. Uh, issue between the stormwater committee members and him, and he was asked to resign. Do you know if that's true or not? I've never heard that before. Okay. Joe's been uh, involved with the city in, in many different. Uh, he used to serve on the architecture review board for the city. I don't remember that at all. Um, you were on the stormwater. Yeah. Well, but I, I talked to the head of the stormwater committee, and I was told that that happened. So I. Uh, just wanted to confirm whether you did or did not know that. And what year was that, by the way? Well, that would have been back at back in 2008, probably. I don't remember that at all. Don't remember. All right. I wouldn't know. Is everybody okay, though, with three readings? Yes. Yeah, all right, I thank you. Have a problem with Resolution number 163, mm -hmm. 2015. Jan, could you please take that? And that's a resolution confirming the appointment of Stacy. Good luck. Yeah, well, <laughs> to the Parks and Recreation Commission. How do you say your name? Suji? Suji. Suji. Just remember Josephine. Oh, yeah, Josephine, how do I say that there? Actually, I've been practicing it. Okay. And I came up with Suji. I know you say Suji. Three readings, if everyone's okay. Absolutely. And this is right. for the one year. Right. We also have one that we'll be doing for the two year. And then we have a gentleman who has expressed interest. Of his term is up. He would like to stay. And, and come back for the, the term again for the new term. So those will be presented in January. So this is a replacement. Okay. Uh, resolution number 164, 2015. Uh, Sylvia, that's yes. a resolution requesting an independent audit of the City of Macedonia con conformance with the established purchasing controls and proper public purpose expenditure requirements. Um, that was something that Dave said that he wanted a resolution. Um, um, he agreed on a, a resolution back, I think it was the last council meeting. So Sylvia has introduced a resolution, number 164, 2015. Um, I think we should just go for first, second, and third reading. Does anybody have any questions on that? Yeah, time out. This was presented at 1244 today, and you want to go three readings on it? We've done that before with other things. I don't so agree with this at all. I, I would agree to one reading, and let's talk about it. Because normally, and I know we're trying not to do normal, we don't hire an auditor when we have audit findings. We work with the HR person, the finance director, and the mayor to rectify those audit findings. You don't spend the money before you have it. And, and we've done that in the past for all the audits, and we've actually taken some audits that were pretty darn ugly and had them turned around in a year or two. So I would say, Let's have first reading on it. We really need to talk about, before we spend more money, there's an economical way to take care of this in-house. Right. Let me just okay. say this. Sylvia, go on your own. That, uh, I don't have a problem with keeping it in first reading. Okay. Uh, but here's the thing. This particular, this particular set of findings and recommendations that were in the management letter, I noticed we responded to a couple of those already, which is good. And there are many others in here that need to be responded to, but those are cleanup items. This one involves the uh, a specific area of controls, internal controls and expenditures, where there's already been a documentation here that we're not following procedures and that we could, in fact, be, uh, in essence, spending money inappropriately taxpayers' funds. So. And because of the people involved who are authorizing these things, they're right at the top of the uh, administrative chain, I don't believe that it's appropriate to have that done internally. I think it, an external auditor, even somebody like Jillian Groove could do it, where they would come in and re do a specific review of this. And it's, uh, it's been in other places in the past. It, it basically uh, assures the, uh, both the council and the public that there, there is a legitimate, complete review of how we were doing business and recommendations and perhaps even uh, there could be uh, things that would rec be recommended for discipline of certain employees if they failed to follow established procedures, which they've already has said that they've done. Mm -hmm. So I do believe this, because of the, of the level of the people involved in these kind of transactions, that 
doing it internally is inappropriate. Although I think that we have perfect opportunity. You said you'd like somebody independent. Yeah. You have a mayor who has not been <coughs> in office, so he has no play in this finding. We have a new HR director who has no play in this finding who are both going to look at it as an independent eye. So why should I spend money and appropriate right. money right. to have a, an independent person come in when I have, and we'll have a finance director who is independent and has not been involved. You know, some of these findings come, one of them's from the year before. The tree department funding was an issue the year before, so we don't have, we'll right, have three new people involved, internally yeah. that actually can look at this that we don't have to spend any money. And I want to, you know, if we're gonna spend our money, we got more important things. I hate to say it. this is important, but the level that we're talking about in the past history of how we've dealt with it before, I think the money's better spent on some other okay. things. Let's let the three new independent people take a look at it. Well, They'll discipline where appropriate. She just mentioned the one company he would like to hire could even look at this. So, I mean, I think, you know, you should talk to uh, Mr. Migorini about it. So, yeah, if you feel comfortable with that um, company looking at it. Uh, I, mean, yeah, I do. It's, because it's a public I was, audit I thing, was there <laughs> in the audit thing, and, uh, and, and, and what this is is, uh, you know, uh, I, they were basically saying in norm in other cities the procedure is that a mayor has a credit card, finance director has a credit card, and when somebody needs to use the credit card, they go to those, uh, they go to one of you, you know, and you authorize it, and uh, everybody, all the department heads have credit cards, the mayor has credit cards, and there were credit cards used that exceeded a hundred dollars which they're supposed to have a po they didn't have a po and some of the items bought a large items a lot of money's been spent on credit cards that had nothing to do with city business well, didn't they not turn in the no well, I, I, have, I have i have just started to I know. look into this by the way so and, i just uh, wanted you to know what was there, going on there is a policy and procedure and by the way the auditors wasn't a finding it was a recommendation yeah, it was a recommendation okay. so That's there what was I no said. finding okay. against the city yeah, but so they, we need to make oh, that clear. Um, so <coughs> we are going to have a 2016 audit. Um, I am going to reinforce the policy on credit cards and POs. Um, and I'm in the process of obviously uh, putting in a uh, finance director, and I think we may have one who is a past state or has been a state auditor or working as a state auditor and who is a CPA. And I'm looking forward to bringing that person on very shortly. And I think we'll make sure that we're cr crossing all our T's and dotting all our I's. And I think the dollars involved in here are less than, less than 1%. So we're, you know, I don't want the public going out thinking that someone spent $50,000 <coughs> themselves yeah. on an item. We're talking about Rindings. some expenditures for some donuts that they have at conference right. or something. No, like no, 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 no. There was more than that. They no, talked to us. They that is untrue. In reading well, through this, I, I haven't seen it yet. So I know, I, I know, but I, it, it was, Joe. It was okay, more well, than that. I'm only okay. telling you what my people are telling me here. So. I know, but. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, go on, Thanks. then. Sorry. In reading through this, I, I think there's definitely some issues there. And it, it's a, not saying we're sweeping those under the rug, but a lot of the things were procedural. and. To say that we're going to spend another up to $25,000 for a witch hunt, I think, is wildly inappropriate. I think there's many other needs in this community right now when we're just going to repair something that's procedural. And with the new mayor, he's sitting before us telling us that this procedural error will be corrected. This is well, not something... We don't know. Can that. I speak, please? Yes. This is not something where I think it's a vicious act of malfeasance. I think this is more of a procedural problem that's going to be corrected. So I am vehemently opposed to spending $25,000 for yet another investigation to lead us down a road to well, nothing. So well, wait a minute, this is not... comfortable, though, with this <coughs> company looking at whatever happened last year. Okay, Joe, that's what she's talking about. I think well, that's well, well uh, could I just say this? This is typical of a situation in which people have gotten comfortable not doing things in the correct mm -hmm. way, and they may, in fact, have been spending taxpayers' money inappropriately. And the level of people involved means in a normal GAO audit, for instance, you would have an outside person coming in. You would not be asking those, and the, actually the leadership would ask for that. It would not be something where it's a witch hunt or the, it's not a witch hunt to ask people to look at records and determine if, for example, people have to pay back whatever they, they have spent money on because it's not a witch hunt. 
And I don't, I don't prejudge anything. I'm just saying this kind of thing. Now, I put a not to exceed number in there simply because I didn't want to have anybody speculating beyond a you know, ridiculous number. But what you normally will do, it says just basically to go to the auditor of state and ask either their staff or uh, an IPA firm like Julian Group to come in and look at this and they give you an estimate of what it would take. It's probably not going to be close to that. It's probably going to be less. And that's what we would be spending. I think it's well worth doing that to ensure that everybody is understanding what has happened in the past and what appropriate what are the appropriate steps for the future. Yeah, that's and I, agree with you, and I understand what you're saying, but here's the problem I'm having with it. This was brought about today at 12.44 p.m. I'm trying to get rushed in for a well, third read. No. Hold on, let me finish, please. I'm not trying to get rushed into a third read when it's being presented as something of a Jimmy Demora situation. When the reality is, that this She's is not. not rushing into it. That that was me. Yeah, but that was me. It's trying to be made into a Jimmy Demora situation when really we're talking about. Donuts. Well, it is not. Yeah. Jimmy, about I, who said that? There's nothing in there that says it's Jimmy right. Demora. Well, yeah. well, you know, I, I, all, listen, on all fairness, if the so if the state auditor has founded and recommended some changes in, in, in enforcement of policy. If they would have seen anything which was totally inappropriate, in my opinion, they would have made that into a citation as opposed right. to a recommendation. But, however, what they, Joe, just but let me point out something to we're you. We're taking a recommendation and trying to make That's it right. into a citation without giving the administration an opportunity to yeah. correct and rectify and have a new administration and a new HR and a new finance director. Yeah. The one that bothers me more yeah. is the tree fund, because we've talked about that while the that is Mr. Spock procedure. was still finance director, and it still was noted again. Yes. Why doesn't that one pop out? Well, well I mean, that's, that's a different issue. That's a problem hours. in the way that we're, and I they say that, that very clearly. We have a problem controlling that. But let agree? me just speak to Joe on this specific issue. This, this kind of environment where, and it's got nothing to do, there's no implication here, it says a noted significant uh, lapses in compliance with established procedures. All, that's all it says. And that because of the level of people involved, we want an outside person to look at this. We want to see what's going on. It's not unreasonable to do that. And, uh, you know, we're not rushing it through today. I'm certainly not. But I do think that we're calling it a witch hunt and doing all that. We're not trying to hurt anybody. We're trying to make sure that if there's a process going on where taxpayer funds are being utilized for other than public purposes that we prevent that in future and the way to do that is to know what has happened what and who's involved. What would the purpose of the audit perform if they've it, already told us their recommendation is to formally adopt the policy? It's, it's, a, first first it's, why it's a first Why would I if they've already well, told you know, me what they I recommended me to adopt? It, in okay. all fairness to me, if you will, yeah. is that I have not had an opportunity to thoroughly investigate all of what was spent through credit cards. Yeah. But I can assure you of this, is that the policy will be, is in place, and the policy will be followed, and the recommendations of the state auditor will be followed. And if there is a breach in that issue again, then you would have a good basis if you thought there was some spending that was out of line to then make that recommendation. But at least at this point in time, um, I need to be able to get in there and enforce it. So what good would it be to go on beyond, if you will, to go to some extent of having this expensive audit done, when in fact we're going to be audited in 216, and I can ask the auditors to make a specific look at that mm -hmm. at well, the time they come in to do the audit. I'm well, I, I think that that, I mean, that may be a possibility. What I'm saying is this, the, they've already documented not only that we didn't follow procedure, but that there were specific uh, the but specific <coughs> documentation that was missing that is normally has to be there in order for there to be any kind of a payment of a public money. And th there was literally no detailed document there with it. Sure. Sylvia, I've gone through a lot of audits as mayor of the city and as a council yeah. member and elected official here. And I can tell you that if the state auditors came in and they found <coughs> something that was clearly glaring and inappropriate, that recommendation would have been a finding well, and, and a citation. I know that, but they didn't look at that for the purpose of doing a finding. What they did is they reviewed it to see if we were following procedure and to see what documentation had been provided when we paid money. 
And I that's understand. all they did. So they did not go into where's but that they document. They had the opportunity during an audit to take a recommendation into okay. a citation. Okay. They've done well, Dave's been they, trying to we say can something. Discuss it later. Go. Go. May, may, may I make a comment? Uh -huh. Yes. It would seem to me, and I understand that uh, our new mayor has been in office less than a couple weeks and is probably working very hard and trying to get his feet under him, and I appreciate that. And I have no idea of the scope of this project problem. And I, I'm sure a lot of us don't really know. Right. Would it make sense uh, for uh, the mayor to ask someone at the finance department to, to go back for a year or whatever and say, at least say, okay, we have 25, we have 30, we have two. What, what is the amount we have uh, in number? Where? Are, what are the stores? You know, are, are they at? Joanne Fabrics, or are, are they at the hardware store or the gas station? I think that makes a big difference. And how much of each? And, and it, maybe it would seem reasonable as to who was the one using the credit card. Let's know the facts. Let's put them on the table and, and see what we got. Yeah. I agree. Right. And, and, and you, you'll do that. Okay. I'll do that. Great. Um, Thanks, Joe. Okay. Um, for, go, moving on, um, there's a motion. Um, Dave, would you, I guess there's a motion here. It says a motion authorizing the Office of the sure. uh, Clerk of Courts and the Department of Finance to accept on the behalf of the City of Macedonia, uh, Macedonia a donation from uh, Joseph Migorini of two Fire King four-door letterproof file cabinets, each valued at approximately two, $2,049. <laughs> $2, Say that fast. Okay. A little bit above. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay, Dave, would yep. you please take that? Yes. And if this Anybody have anything else they'd like to discuss? I just need to talk to Claudia before she leaves. Okay, Claudia, you want to talk to her by yourself? Yeah, it's very oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Claudia. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have anything else they'd like to discuss? No. Okay. Mayor, Mayor and Claudia. Mayor. The other thing I would ask is, there are more than that recommendation. <laughs> yeah. than that. Historically, we would get documentation of the, re the answers from the administration for all the recommendations and what's being implemented. Because some apply to HR, some apply to financial. We can do that too. Don't just focus on that one. There's I mean, I can be the point person too when you even ask that. I'm glad that you can make sure it comes up.